Dear viewers, I am glad to know that we are here today in the spotlight. Together we will explore a very interesting and fascinating topic. The hidden legacy that none other than Queen Elizabeth left to her beloved grandchildren has been revealed. According to British experts on this issue, this news is said to have deeply humiliated Queen Camilla. A tragic message from Prince Harry to his brother Prince William. This shocking decision was followed by further turmoil. It was said that there was a tearful and last-minute decision. Let's see what happened a few hours ago. First, I want to ask you how you view the relationship between the late Queen and Princess Harry. Do you think it was a true grandmother-granddaughter love or was it just monarchy? Let's hear the story of Faith, the hidden legacy that Elizabeth Roman II left in Wales. She once made the Duchess of Cambridge an offer she couldn't refuse, she offered the couple the chance to live in one of the monarchy's most magnificent castles. The Windsor Great Park Estate was originally built in the 18th century by Sir William Chambers for King George II. The fortress was designed as a folly, a decorative building with no real defensive purpose, and was part of the vast Crown Estate estate. The estate is set to relocate the infamous Royal Lodge thanks to a dispute over the residence between the current King and Prince Andrew. But the negative energy in the estate's history may have been the deciding factor in alienating the Queen and future King. Instead, the Queen's late cousin, Gerald Lares, lives in the castle at the invitation of the monarchy. But this insight follows reports in April that the Prince and Princess of Wales are considering a major renovation and expansion of one of the royal properties. The couple is said to be dearly attached to Adelaide Cottage, located on the grounds near Well Castle. But in terms of protocol, it is not as big a place for the couple and their family as Amner Hall, their Norfolk country home, where Queen Elizabeth has a memorial, especially with Camilla. Although many obstacles prevented the current queen from realizing her wishes, she has always been very flexible with her grandchildren, almost like a mother speaking to her son. It is worth noting that the late king offered Frogmore Cottage in Winter Park as the new home of the former Duke of Sussex, a legacy that is said to have upset Parker at the ball. She is said to have dreamed of living there, but it was clear that the deal would not be made. At the time, she was very upset and felt humiliated in front of the circle, having vowed to place her own mansion next to Prince Charles's. It is also worth noting that Queen Elizabeth has always kept a considerable distance from Camilla, as she wants to be the center of attention while her husband works from home. She is determined to fulfill her duties and support his treatment. The source said she is still finding this news harder to bear than her previous happy public appearances. Another source she met this week disagreed. There is resilience, dedication and optimism. Princess Anne, who has one of the busiest schedules despite being less in the spotlight, did not hide her frustration at the lack of younger talent to replace the older generation. In my opinion, a fragile monarchy doesn't seem like a good idea, she said. Prince Harry, who has essentially supported his father and brother by taking on some of the work, will fly to the UK and spend three days in Canada with Meghan next week, where they will compete in the high-profile Invictus Games. As the feud between Prince Harry and Prince Williams continues amid the royal health crisis, Experts believe the situation between the brothers would have been different if their mother belongs to the dreaded sandwich generation of worries. Princess Diana, was still alive. Young family and father. Sources say Prince William is in the same situation as hundreds of thousands of other people across the country, but he's doing so under the guise of exaggeration.